using HD access files, common usage and an example. So what are some of the common uses for HD access files? Well, you can do many things. For example, restricting access to certain files or directories, rewriting the URL so that all requests go through a single script, and many other things. Many of the common tasks are listed on these two websites. So you can just look for what you want to do and copy and paste the code you need into your HD access file. Let's look at an example. Here's the virtual host we added earlier with the one HTML file we added called index.html. If we visit our virtual host in a browser and specify the file name, the web server serves us the file. However, if I remove the file name and press enter, it still serves us the same file. This is because in the main configuration file for the Apache web server here, the directory index directive is used here to tell the server to send the index.html file if no specific file is requested. This is something we can change in our HT access file. First, let's add a new file and call it welcome.html. I've added some basic HTML that displays a simple message. We can see this file if we specifically request it in a browser. Again, if we don't request a file, the web server sends us index.html. Changing this setting is something we can do in the HD access file. So if we add this directive to our HD access file and set it to welcome.html, then when we go to a browser and request the site without specifically entering a file name, now we get the welcome.html file. We can still access index.html if we want to, but now we've used the HD access file to change the web server configuration for this virtual host without changing the Apache configuration files.